So today is the day after the big federal election in Canada. <clears throat> there's the polling results right there. Like there's how much um, each party won by. So the Liberals led by Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau has been re-elected as Prime Minister. The Liberals won 157 seats. The Conservatives won 121 seats. <clears throat> The Black Québécois won 32 seats, and um, the NDP won 24 seats. The Green Party won three seats. The one independence is that damn traitor Jody Raybould that uh, was once part of the Liberal Party of Canada. <clears throat> but basically, she backstabbed Justin Trudeau, so Trudeau had no choice but to kick her out of the party. Sadly, she won a seat as an independent. And the People's Party of Canada, um, led by Maxine Bernier, didn't win any seats. So, <clears throat> as you can see at the top of the page, 100, 170 seats is needed for a majority government. So basically what that means, since the Liberals won a minority, is that yes, Justin Trudeau is still the Prime Minister of Canada. But if you only have a minority government, then that means that any time they want to pass a bill or pass any kind of legislation or pass the budget, <clears throat> any kind of major legislation, they need the support of some of the opposition parties as well, too. And I know that the NDP led by uh, Jagmeet Singh, that Jagmeet Singh did say that he would um, support the Liberal Party, and there was even talk of a possibility of a, co a coalition between the Liberal and NDP party. <clears throat> it would be nice if the Liberals and NDP would form a coalition, and it would be even nicer if that coalition lasted until... Uh, October 2023, when the next federal election occurs here in Canada, as far as scheduled to occur in Canada. So basically, the difference between a majority and a minority government is that with a majority government, <clears throat> if, a, if one party has the majority of seats, they can govern and they only have to vote amongst themselves. So as long as people within their own party support a particular motion then they can go ahead and pass that motion without any help from any of the other parties. But if you have a minority government, <clears throat> then you're going to need help from the other parties as well in order to pass uh, particular motions. And the worst case scenario in a minority government is that if, say, the Liberals want to pass a piece of legislation, but all the other parties, all the other parties vote against that piece of legislation, they won't be able to pass it. And if it's a confidence motion, such as the budget, and they um, can't pass that confidence motion, then that means they lose the confidence of the House. And that means they, they have no choice but to call another election. And I really don't feel like going back to the polls anytime soon. This is the ugliest election I've ever seen. I'm happy that Trudeau won. I would have been happier to see him win a majority as opposed to a minority government. But let's hope the NDP, uh, Props up the Liberals and keeps them in power for as long as possible, possibly till October 2023. And as for Andrew Scheer and the fucking conservatives, as for the, <clears throat> as for the people that voted conservative, shame on you. You're a bunch of fucking retards that obviously don't care about health care education 
or any other social issues in Canada. And um, as for Andrew Scheer, the leader of the Conservatives, I hope he fucking dies of cancer or something or dies in a car accident. I hate the fucking little bitch. He is such a lying, worthless, hypocritical cunt. If you want to check out some of the lies that Shear told, just Google it. Lies told by Andrew Shear. Like how he lied about being an insurance broker, even though he doesn't even have an insurance license, which you're required to have to be an insurance broker in um, the province of Saskatchewan. <clears throat> how he lied about the Liberals and the NDP, that they would raise the goods and services tax to from 5% to 15%. Another fucking bull-faced lie by Andrew Scheer. So congrats to Justin Trudeau for winning another um, election. Would have been nicer with a majority. Let's hope that Jagmeet Singh and the NDP prop up the Liberals. Out of all these parties here, like I voted liberal myself, the only other parties I would even consider voting for apart from the liberals are the NDP and the Green Party. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. Thanks to everyone who voted liberal. That's awesome. You voted for the right party. The NDP and the Green Party, I understand why you voted for them. They're good parties as well, too. But I think... A vote for the Liberals would have been more valuable in this in this election to give Trudeau another majority government. I guess we'll just have to wait and see.